Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing lip swatches of the 14 new Fenty Matte to Moselle lipsticks. I was so excited to get these because I love, I mean, I love matte lipsticks, but not only that, the pics that Fenty has been posting of Rihanna wearing all the new shades, I think they're such cool shades. So I was really excited to see that they're coming out with more regular lipsticks now. Liquid lipsticks can sometimes be a little bit too drying. I have a little bit more crinkly lips. I have, you know, some deep wrinkles in there that, you know, depending on the formula, sometimes liquids can be just too dry for me. So the new Fenty lipsticks, they are an all day, color intensity weightless matte finish lipstick. The first swipe that I put on just the very first time I was like, whoa, I could not get over the pigmentation. It went on so smooth. So Fenty also has these lipsticks, which are the glitter lipsticks, which is not really my jam. I love glitter glosses, but just regular lipsticks I'm not crazy about. So that's why I was extra excited for the matte ones to come out. And what I love also so much about these lipsticks, obviously they have the name of the lipstick on the bottom, but they also have the color of each each lipstick on the bottom on the sticker. It'll be way easier depending on how you store it to be able to tell like, oh, okay, I want this one because it's that color. So I really, really love that they did that with these lipsticks. So I'm gonna be trying on all 14 shades and I'm gonna talk a little bit right now just about the formula and how I feel about it. So I love this formula. It went on so smooth. The shade that I'm wearing is Freckle Fiesta. And I don't know, I just thought it was such a cool color when I saw them post it on their Instagram. I was like, wow, that is a very unique, pretty shade. So I couldn't wait to try this one on, but I I tried to channel my inner Rihanna with what I wore today in this video, and I feel like every single lipstick looked cool with what I was wearing, didn't it? Yeah. Every single lipstick somehow went with my outfit today, so I thought that was really cool. This is the finish of the lipstick. It is definitely more of a matte, but I would say it's a little bit more of a creamy matte. It's not an ultra, ultra matte lipstick. What I love about this formula is that it glides on really smooth, even for being kind of a creamier matte formula because a lot of times if a lipstick is a full matte lipstick, like if it's too matte, it's really hard to apply because it's so matte that it's lacking a lot of the creaminess. There was a couple shades in here. I wanna say it was Midnight Wasabi and Griselda that went on just a little bit drier than the rest of them. They kind of skipped a little bit more. Not that you couldn't just go over it again, but it didn't feel quite as creamy as all the other shades did. When I apply pretty much any lipstick or even a liquid lipstick, I'll put on a little bit of my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask underneath, even just a little bit right in the center, just that way it doesn't look dry underneath it. But I noticed when I did it with this lipstick, it like practically changed the entire formula of the lipstick and turned it into a like really creamy, not ultra shiny, but it made it a lot shinier. It wasn't bad looking, I'm not gonna say that, but it did definitely make it look a lot less matte. The thing that I don't like about these lipsticks, I don't like the shape of it. I don't like the round tube. I did like the size that it's a lot smaller than standard lipsticks, but I don't like that it's round and it doesn't have a point on it. Like a standard MAC lipstick that has the point on it, it makes it a lot easier to navigate the cupid's bow and to get like sharp edges. Uh, for me anyway, it makes it a lot easier. You'll see in some of the swatches, I had to use a lip brush on a lot of them, especially with the bolder shades to get into the cupid's bow area. And I did apply all of them with no lip liner, but if I'm gonna be wearing these out, 90% sure that I would wear a lip liner with them just because they are so creamy. I don't have a lot of lip liners that go with a lot of these shades. So that made it a little bit more difficult. So that's why I decided to just eliminate lip liners all together when I did the swatches and I'm gonna be swatching all of them for you right now.
I love the shades in here. I think it's such a cool range of shades. It's not like all boring pinks, which I was most excited for for this range. So pretty much every single color I tried on, I was like, wow, this is a really cool color. If I had to pick my favorites right now, Freckle Fiesta is one of my favorites. I really liked Saucy, but that one also applied different than the rest of the shades. It wasn't as full coverage. I could still see a little bit of my freckles. And I've noticed that with a lot of orange regular type of lipsticks, even liquid lipsticks, oranges vary a lot. It kind of had like a more neon vibe to it, a little bit more fluorescent. So it kind of applied a little bit less pigmented but it still looked really, really vibrant. It's kind of funny that I'm saying this, but you dig, which is the cornflower blue shade. I hated, that was my least favorite crayon in the box. I hated that color, but I thought this was a really cool lipstick color. Will I wear it? I don't know. I also really liked Griselda. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, it's a berry, which I don't wear a lot of berries. But once I finished applying it, I thought it was really pretty. It had a very velvety finish to it. I'm really excited about these lipsticks. I think they're a really cool formula. I think the colors are amazing. They come out December 26th, day after Christmas, when everybody's got their Sephora gift cards. Huh. I think these are really cool lipsticks. If you live and die for liquid lipsticks, I don't know if you're gonna love these because they do transfer. So it's not like a totally transfer proof situation, but I'm okay with that. So that's all the swatches of the Fenty lipsticks. Let me know if you guys are gonna be picking any of them up. And also I'm curious to know what your favorite shades are. You already know what my favorite shades are. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. My lips hurt, my face hurts. I gotta go with the regular lips. <gasps> Oh. Rolling. Don't put me on. It's for you, John. <laughs>